चैप्टर फाइव मेरिकल ऑफ पुरन भगत दिस इज वन ऑफ रूडियार्ड किपलिंग्स इंस्पायरिंग बट लेस वेल नोन स्टोरीज दिस इज द स्टोरी ऑफ एन ओल्ड स्टेज हु लिव अ क्वाइट एंड होली लाइफ ड्यूरिंग द टाइम वेन ब्रिटिश वर इन इंडिया पूरन दास वॉज अ हाई कास्ट ब्राह्मण highly educated and a powerful figure as the prime minister of one of the princely states of india he was educated under the british and carried out many reforms in the state he believed that what was good for the british was good for the indians too roads were built and schools hospitals were set up he even traveled to england and was made a knight commander of the order of the indian empire Then one day he tried off it all he gave up all his power and wealth and became a sanyasi barefoot he left the city where he lived and went up to the himalayas with a begging bowl among the beautiful deodar trees he found a deserted shrine and decided to remain there when the village priest in the valley saw smoke in the shrine he climbed up to the mountain to welcome purandas He looked deeply in his eyes. He recognized that there was a man who used to controlling thousands who had given up all that power to become a sanyasi. He bowed before Purandas and took the begging bowl and went back to village. He told the villagers that at last they had a true holy man at the shrine. The simple villagers were happy and Purandas came to be known as Puran Bhagat. From then on his bowl was never empty the village priest made sure that puran bhagat was never hungry while puran bhagat sat beneath the trees at the shrine absolutely still praying the animals of the forest came to him soon the deer the langurs and even the himalayan black bear came to him willingly years passed then one rainy night puran bhagat was awakened from his sleep by a nervous langur Puran Bhagat looked out into the night and saw rain water rushing down the mountain side loosening the earth and carrying it away he realized that there would be a mud slide and the villagers would die as they slept if he did not warn them Puran Bhagat rushed down into the village with the animals and awakened everyone he urged the villagers to move quickly across the valley and up the next hill he shouted making sure that everyone left before he followed at daylight the villagers crept up to the place where puran bhagat sat against a tree with its animals around him they found him dead they built a shrine there in puran bhagat's memory where they worship to this day also